Hello, my name is Diana Carolina Andrade, and I am one of the infectious disease pharmacists for the Memorial Healthcare System. One of the often questions I get is, if I have COVID, do I really need to take the vaccine? If you had COVID, you do need to take the vaccine because we don't know exactly how much antibodies were produced when you had the infection. The antibody production varies based on the severity of the infection, and what you need to do is have a vaccination so that you can have the right production of antibodies to protect you against the virus. Another myth is that the vaccine was developed too fast and we shouldn't trust it. I think that's a valid concern, but it's important to consider that the scientists that developed this vaccine actually had information about the virus a very long time ago. In addition to that, they've received financial support from scientific institutions, and they've been able to conduct several clinical studies to prove the efficacy and safety of the vaccine. Another myth buster that I'd like to talk to you about today is the vaccine side effects. It's normal to feel fatigue, to feel fevers, to feel chills, and to feel some muscle pain, especially in the side of injection. However, it is important to consider that these side effects are transient and only last two to three days after the vaccine, compared to having long-term side effects of COVID, which could lead to lung and heart problems amongst other conditions. I also hear that the COVID-19 vaccine could alter a person's DNA. So the mRNA vaccines do not enter the nucleus of the human cell and therefore do not alter the DNA. The mRNA contains instructions for our body to process in order to make antibodies against the COVID-19 virus. At the hospital, it has been very difficult. We're in this pandemic over a year and a half. Um, we work endless hours to take care of our patients, and it's very sad when we hear several code blues overhead page in which we cannot save all our patients. I like to often think that we lived in a privileged um, community, in a privileged country where we have access to healthcare where we have the choice to make to be vaccinated. And it's disappointing to see that because of misinformation, there's a lot of our community members and employees, um, family members that are hesitant to get the vaccine when truly it's evidence-based scientific data that's been proven to be effective and safe. I like to conclude um, with the thought that there's a lot of suffering, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of death going into our community, and this is all very avoidable um, with the right choice that we all need to make, and that is to get vaccinated.